Morning everybody, Mike Vaki, Prince and Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, jobs uh, this morning. Uh, you know, came out 8.30 this morning. I'm doing this at about 5 after 9. The headline number was plus 120,000 jobs. Uh, the unemployment rate down to 8.6% to and the revisions were pretty good. They added 72,000 jobs in October and September. But the reality is 600,000 people dropped out of the workforce. And when 600,000 people give up on being part of the workforce, it's going to become very easy to get that unemployment rate down. So you've really got to take this report with a grain of salt. There's a lot of seasonal hiring out there right now in the retail sector. So, um, and the market reaction to this report has been pretty muted. It's been kind of a whatever. We came in just under the uh, 1263 level on the E-mini and we traded as low as 1255. So there's your upper and lower barrier for the initial E-mini trade this morning, 63 and 55. Um, so we're gonna open, so I'm gonna make this a lot shorter than I usually do. Let's go right into support and resistance and we'll kind of talk as we go. Uh, the pivot points are out this morning on the Top Step website. For anybody that's new, uh, those are out at 7 a.m. every morning at uh, mrtopstep.com or they're out on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is at uh, Princeton Trader. So let's do uh, current trade is 1257. We'll do the upside first. Uh, as I mentioned, 1263, then 1266, 1273, 1276, 1283, and then that 1290 level. And just to build on what we've been talking about the last couple of days, the ball now is in the bull's corner completely from my perspective. Uh, we've been making those higher lows over time on the daily chart. The jobs report was another opportunity to kind of set them up poorly to make this run for 1290 and it didn't happen. The jobs report wasn't that bad but it wasn't that good. It, it, it leaves the bulls in the same position they were in the last couple of days. So now the bulls really have got to make that move above 1290. They have got to make that higher high or we're gonna fall back into that longer term wedge that I've been talking about for a couple of weeks. So uh, we're at 1256, we topped out uh, just under 1263. Uh, you know, if you're a bull, you wanna back and fill a little bit on the way, because if we go straight up, when we get to 1290, there'll be no fuel left to buy, and that's how double tops get made. So we have to watch this kind of play out, but the ball is in the bull's court to run this thing higher uh, in, into Christmas. So downside uh, support, 1255, uh, which is your jobs low barrier, 1247 to 1248, 1243, uh, there's some FIB levels in there and that's also your daily pivot, 1238, 1234, and that pivot support zone that we talked about a couple days ago, that's loosened up a little bit, the daily obviously has come out of there, but you still got the three day pivot and the 20 day pivot between 1222 to 1226. So you get some bad news over the next couple of days and we start to move lower, you've got to watch where that zone is and I'll keep you updated on that as we go. Below that, 1216. So everybody have a fantastic Friday. Trade them well today. You stops. Be hedged. One headline moves this thing 20 handles. So please don't walk away from your positions without a stop and keep an eye on everything that you're doing. Have a fantastic weekend. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader for Mr. Top Step. I'll see everybody Monday morning.